again. You hear the church bell? I'm in Italy right now with Elena and our lovely friend Paola is the one filming. And that's one of the things I love about Europe is church bells just ring all the time because they're never in sync. <laughs> they don't ring right on the hour and on the half an hour. And that brings me to how the importance of sound and all the senses in our work that we work with the five physical senses and we work with three more subtle senses that are our intuition which we say lives in the belly the home of feelings and we work with imagination of putting images into movement this is what our brains is a wonderful thing that our brain can do for us then everything that exist was in someone's imagination before it became manifest into reality. And we work with keeping our crown chakra open so that we can experience moments of inspiration. That inspiration flows into us and an aha occurs that connects the dots or opens the portal to a new paradigm so we can easily step through. And what I wanted to talk about briefly today is the importance of the sense of smell, the olfactory sense. People who report on these things say it is the last sense to leave us when we move on from the physical body, that the sense of smell lingers longest. Regardless, I think all of us recognize the importance of this, this sensing tool. It can let us know that the house is on fire. It can warn us of impending danger. It can give us the greatest pleasure burying my nose in the middle of a rose that's just fragrant is for a moment all there is. It just takes me right into the moment in a profound way. And in our work, we work mostly with essential oils. In the Western pharmacopoeia of essential oils, there are about 200 flowers, roots, and trees from which you can extract their essence. And then when we start adding all that come from China, that come from the Asia Pacific region, we double that number. They're not all the same because the same trees and plants don't grow everywhere. And my understanding of these oils, I am not a scientist. To truly understand them in depth, you need a PhD in chemistry. And that is not me, but the people I work with are. And so I can learn whatever it is I want to know. And so can you. You can take webinars online with really highly qualified people that can teach you to be a chemist in the, in the laboratory of essential oils. But we have selected a total of 34. We have three for each of the eight chakras. And then we have what we call must-haves. That we have a list of 10 other oils that if you want a basic supply, that these are what we recommend. And I won't go into that today, but just to let you know the importance of your olfactory sense. If you've been one of those few people that lose your sense of smell, there are ways to get it back. Science has helped that. The medical profession has helped. Because it, it's one, we need to keep that working for us. So come back, join us. Why don't you come to a real program where we're in person? We'll have some in Italy coming up over the next couple of years. Introductions, one, two, and three days. We do it at a beautiful retreat center called Centro di Ompio, which is in the Northern Lake District. We may find something lovely on the coast near Paola's house. Um, we're always looking for inspiring locations in nature, mostly, mostly outside, please. But we endeavor to create a beautiful space, whether we're indoors or outdoors, that really enlivens our senses and gives us the joy of being present in them. Look forward to sharing sensing with you. Thank you so much.